We've got a new pack opening for you today. Uh, saw these at Walgreens for the first time. And uh, it's a repack product like they always sell. A little bit of a special edition. I haven't seen this one before, but they're called the Ballpark Collection. Three baseball packs. One in four boxes contain a hit. Um, things on it say here, this package guarantees to contain three, ba three baseball packs. One in four boxes contain a hit. Includes game used cards, something, something, manufactured, autograph, or relics. Um, I don't know exactly what this says behind here. The products in this package have been directly purchased from the manufacturer or purchased from the secondary market and repackaged for retail. So, sales by Fairfield Company. So that's what we're opening up here. I got three of them here. They are $12 a piece at Walgreens, if you can find them. And uh, let's just kind of tear into it and see. Oh my gosh, these things are... Blue is like an industrial grade blue, it seems like. It's good. Maybe people can't get into them at the stores. That's one thing I noticed at Walgreens. The repack products have always been kind of suspect and subject to um, searchers. So, let's take a look at what we got. We got an opening day pack, 2022. Tops 2021, Series 2. All right. And 2022, Series 1. Not terrible. I mean, for 12 bucks. These are retail packs. They are not hobby. So let's get into it. Opening day is a low-end product. Typically, I kind of look at it as like little kids getting into it. Oh, these are cool inserts, though. Whenever I see these kind of ones, I always think of like the 80s basketball, like Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, uh, rookie card style, but... Kind of a cool one there. I'll put the Soto off to the side. It's a decent name. Tristan McKenzie. For my buddy who likes the Indians. Let's see if we can pull color parallel or something. Would be great. This one again was 2021 Series 2. Can't remember who we were looking for in that one. I think that was kind of a dud release, if I remember right. But Andrew Scrub, Tyler O'Neill, Corbin Burns, Luis Alexander Basabi, Alex Avila, former Tiger, Garrett Crochet. That might be the best card that we're going to get out of there. Being in the Chicagoland area, people kind of still look for his stuff sometimes. Ozzy Albies and Juan Soto inserts. Not a great pack. Maybe uh, 2022 Series 1 with Otani on the cover. Can save us here. Ooh, looks like we got... Oh, Stars of the MLB on the back. Yeah, forgot about those. Kike Hernandez. Paven Smith. Whit Merrifield. Oh, there's a nice Wander. I guess I couldn't have expected... Or I couldn't have asked for anything better in a Series 1 pack. That's a good one. Put that up on the stage there. Nice little Wander Franco rookie hit. Jackson Coar rookie. The Shane Bieber. Seeger. Emmanuel Rivera. I don't know if I'm putting my rookies in the right spot. Jared Walsh. Nelson Cruz. Looks like we have a rainbow foil. Kershaw, stars of the MLB. In the rainbow foil, not a rookie. It is Max Freed. Cool. Not a bad pack. I'll take that. Got some rookies over there. Looking for something fun. Maybe like a It'd be cool to find like a 2018 tops pack. Um, like the update. Obviously, that'd be like the best scenario. Don't really know what else to look for in here. This one seems to have an extra card in it. Looks like it has a hit. All right. Oh, cool. That's actually a pretty decent hit. Ozzy Albies. Player-worn memorabilia 
I mean, it's only a couple dollar card, but still really nice little extra relic card. I like that. I'll probably put three bucks on it at my show that I'm going to set up for. Uh, my plan is to do a video series about like getting ready for a show. And I have a show coming up in two weeks. So I'm at this point, I'm still going through and grading or not grading, sorry, pricing my material that I have. And so the rest of this next couple of weeks is going to be working slowly at um, getting everything priced and organized so that I can kind of set up at the show really quickly. So opening day. Oh, sorry. This one only had 2021 Series 1 and 22 Series 1. I think Series 1 for 2021, was that like Jake Cronenworth? Uh, that group, maybe? Oh, man, I have an orange foil in here. Awesome. Steven Matz, Mark Canna, Willie Calhoun, Salvi Perez. It's a decent name. Albert Almora. There's a Tigers card. Josh Harrison. Love watching that guy play. He's, he's fun to watch. Jose Urena. Ian Anderson, rookie. Not a bad little rookie there. David Dahl. Christian Pache, rookie. Not a bad one. There's a Miggy card for the collection. Adam Plutko. Got a Yelich insert on the back. And it'd be great if this was like a rookie or like a decent name that I could send off to grading. It's a Cub pitcher, so not a great one. Jose Quintana. So the oranges are numbered to 299. Those are pretty tough to pull. Um, nice little insert there. Tough pull, wrong name. But uh, let's look at the odds real quick. Um, trying to find the uh, rainbow foil is 1 in 10. That's not it. I cannot find the correct rainbow foil. Doesn't have just like. Oh well. I know they're not that easy to pull. I know it's gotten tougher in the last couple of years because of the number. Now, this pack feels different than the other 2022 series one that I opened. I feel like the packaging is different. So, let's try to pull something. With gold, man, I've been pulling this parallels out of this. This is great. Chris Flexen, there's a Shohei base. Love that. Jaron Duran, rookie. Jose Ramirez base. Michael Pineda. And Juan Soto, stars of the MLB. So, first, I mean, I have one more box to open up, but so far, the packs haven't been, like, mind-blowing, but I've pulled a gold, which is not easy to pull just out of one retail pack, an orange foil, and a rainbow foil out of just two of those boxes. So... Obviously, I don't expect much out of buying these kind of repack products, but I feel like I'm I'm actually coming out ahead here. These are uh, shaping up to be pretty decent. I did leave a couple of them on the rack there. The boxes looked like they had been damaged. Um, corners were dinged. There was actually one that had like a hole punch in it. So I left those ones there. Um, these were just the first three that were on the rack. And I got another hit. Wow. One in four boxes contain a hit. I bought three boxes, and I got two hits. So that's pretty good odds in my mind. Let's see who it is. And it's a Freddie Freeman. Holy cow. I like Freddie Freeman stuff. Like, it's great. But also, I feel like I've gotten decent names in just the two relic kits that I have. Okay. Looks pretty familiar to the same first box we opened. So, opening day... Vidal Brujan, rookie. 
Ernie Clement, rookie. Luke Williams, rookie. Albert Pujols, bomb squad insert. I actually collect Albert Pujols cards, so that's kind of a cool one. Don't have that one yet. And then just low Carlson Ruiz base cards. 2021 Series 2. It would be great if we pulled like a nice color parallel. Independence Day. Something super low numbered. Let's reach for the stars here. We've pulled... We kind of, I think we've kind of beat the odds so far, so why not make it just like a crazy opening and pull something completely unexpected? Kike Hernandez, Garrett Cooper. I love this picture. This is from when he hit that walk-off hit in the playoffs in 2020, and he was airplaning around the uh, around the infield. Such a good picture. Pure joy. I think I already saw this one. Same pack. Jonah Heim. The colors, Billy Hamilton, Austin Barnes, Mike Brosseau. Wow. I did get another parallel. A Will Myers Gold. Again, not the best names, but I'm pulling the parallels. Cool Soto insert. Cool Luis Robert insert. All right. Last pack, 2022 Series 1. I think so far, if this is how these boxes are going to be, like I would buy these every time. I mean, at 12 bucks, it's a little bit much. Oh, no, I have a home run challenge card back here. Oh, bummer. Um, the home run challenges are things that you have to use in season, obviously, so that's not going to work. This is literally the same. Is this the same rundown that we had in the first pack, the landscape cards? Another, you know what? I'm okay with having the same pack collation because that was two Wander Franco rookies out of three packs of Series 1 from 2022. Wow. Yep, it's the same pack because I already have a Jackson Coar. There's another Shane Bieber. And a Stuart Fairchild. I don't remember seeing a Stuart Fairchild before, but... <laughs> Mike Trout, Mike Trout. No, that's cool. I will take that. You know what? These ballpark collection, three baseball packs, one in boxes, one in four boxes contain a hit. These are a hit to me. I mean, 12 bucks. Do you expect to get a little bit more? I mean, if you spend $20, you can get a blaster box. If you spend... Typically 12 to 15 bucks, you can get a hanger box if you can find them, which those have decent inserts. But this gives you a chance at getting a relic card. If you think about it, like a, a hobby box of Series 1 tops from last year, I think was right around 89 to 90 bucks. And so you figure, like in, in those boxes, you're only guaranteed one hit, a relic or an autograph. And so, like, Obviously, not every three boxes of this stuff is going to result in two hits and two Wander Franco rookies and two Mike Trout inserts, but I feel like I came out way ahead on these ones. Um, I'm going to put these in my show. I already have a bunch of the Wander Franco rookies, but I'm going to put these in my show in a couple weeks. I'll probably put five bucks a piece on them. I'm not sure if that's too much right now or whatever. I'm just kind of going off of the last time I looked them up on fate, on eBay. But uh, I feel like this was a win um, just from the Walgreens uh, ballpark collection. I just stopped there on a whim to see if they had any of the new 2023 Series 1. I saw these there. I hadn't seen them before. And so I figured I'd pick some up and try them out. I'm glad I did. Wow. Fun opening. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.